highlights the success of the Atlanta Hawks and how uh, Dan Quinn has had a huge impact there already. Or the Falcons. Uh, the Falcons. What did I say? The Hawks. The Hawks. Yeah. <laughs> they were good, too, city. by the way. Yeah. <laughs> but in, with the Hawks, the Seahawks, his absence is noticeable. How so? You know, it's early to be too harsh on Chris Richards, and Pete Carroll has a very good track record of finding really good coaches. But if we're just judging on what's happened so far, you know, the Seahawks play a fairly simple system, but they play it absolutely perfectly. Mm -hmm. And you're seeing execution errors. We've seen some instances where they had 12 men on the field. Uh, we're seeing some confusion. The players even talked in the locker room after the game about they both had a different call. One came from the secondary, one came from the linebacker. These are the type of things with an established a uh, coach like Dan Quinn, a person who plays attention to every little detail you don't see happening. And that scheme, they need to get to that point where they're going to continue to struggle. The 49ers had a lot of adjustments to make mm -hmm. this offseason from last season, and it's a lot on a young quarterback. What have they done for Colin Kaepernick this year? How have Chris, they changed? Chris, from talking to teams that are going to play them or play.